Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make monkey bread. Mm, yummy, I love monkey bread. I had a request to make monkey bread or monkey roll. So here we go, that's what we're gonna do. Super, super simple to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get baking. First, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius. Next, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this, a big bowl here, and we're gonna put in our sugar. This is 3 fourths cup of white granulated sugar. And then our cinnamon, this is three teaspoons of cinnamon. And let's mix this up really well. Great, I'm gonna set this aside. And now, we wanna prep our dough. This is just biscuit dough that's pre-made that comes in a container. This is the simple part. Now you can use whatever dough that you want. Why am I not making it from scratch? Because I have several dough recipes already. You can pick pretty much any of those dough recipes and use those if you want. If you wanna use the, the dough from my cinnamon roll recipe, you could use that dough for this. Whatever you'd like to do. This just helps with the ease of this particular recipe. So we wanna open these up. Always the fun part is opening these up. All right, sometimes they're a little hard to open. And then we're just gonna take these out. I also have a homemade biscuit dough recipe that you can use that as well. Now we wanna cut these into four pieces. You could use a pizza roller like this if you want. Or you could use a dough cutter like this if you want or use a knife, easy peasy. So you wanna do that with all of them. And then you're gonna take your cinnamon and sugar mixture and we're just gonna plop these in there. You could also use a big Ziploc bag and put your cinnamon and sugar in there. So I'm just gonna put one of them in right now. And just kinda of toss it. You can come in here with your hands and just get them all nice and coated. Again, if you don't want to touch the dough, then just use a Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the rest of these and then we'll go to that point. Nice, so I have them all done. Don't these look awesome? I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of sugar. Yes, it is. Now we wanna take our butter. So down below, I'll list all the ingredients. They're really easy to remember and you could like use less of one or more of the other. This is really versatile, this recipe. And now we wanna take our brown sugar, or you could use white sugar if you like. Um, this is 3 fourths cup and put it in with our butter. This will make our caramel sauce. Then just take a fork or your whisk and just come in here and let's get this all mixed together well. Set that aside. And now we take our bundt cake pan and I spray this with kitchen spray. If you don't have one of these, then you could use, just use like a muffin pan, and then you'll put like two or three of these little pieces in the muffin pan, and you'll have little mini ones if you want. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna put these in here. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and pour our butter and our, our butter and our sugar. I don't usually use all of it. A nice gooey mess. Now we're gonna bake this in the oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, like I mentioned, for 25 to 30 minutes until it gets nice and golden brown on the top and it's gonna puff up, it's gonna be awesome. All right, and when it comes out of the oven, it'll look something like this, nice. Now we're gonna let this sit and cool for about five to 10 minutes. Now what we wanna do, after it's been resting for a while, the bowl is still a little warm. And I can see that there are there is a little bit of liquid caramel in there. Um, that's okay. So what you do is you can take like a, a sheet pan and put it underneath just to catch any extra. And then you could just turn it over right on top of this if you want. I like to take a plate, a plate that has like a lip on it like this because that will catch excess caramel as well. 
And we'll just go ahead and flip it over like that. And then the extra caramel is gonna, yeah, wow. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at that. Now this monkey bread or pull apart bread, it's meant to be eaten warm. You could also do like a glaze um, and you can put it on top, kind of like what you would do for like cinnamon rolls. Really, really cool. I'm gonna come in here, grab a piece and just show you, look at that. All nice and gooey, it's soaked up, that buttery caramel. All right, the monkey bread is done, turned out amazing. A couple of things to note, you could use less butter and sugar if you like to go on top. You can also add pecans. So if you were gonna use pecans, you would take your bun pan and you would um, put pecans down in the bottom of the pan first before adding the pieces of dough. Really easy recipe. Again, you could put a different topping on it if you want, glaze, cream cheese frosting, whatever you wanna do. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Also down below in the description, you'll find links to my other social media accounts as well as my other YouTube channel in case you wanna check those out. Take care. Time for me to dive into a piece. Oh yeah, uh, uh, uh. Grab this piece, mm, mm, mm. Nice, warm, and gooey. Mm. Mm.